Assalamu alaikum listeners and viewers welcome back to my channel watch and learn with Rahab today we're gonna start introduction to Python so let's start it's the lesson number one of Python series so first question is that what is Python which is developed by Guido Van Rossum he started implementing Python in 1989 and it is a very simple programming language that uh, you can use if you are the new programmer or you can learn Python without facing any issues. Or Python is a dynamic programming language which supports multiple uh, programming paradigms, which uh, includes the procedure programming in which uh, OOPS uh, concepts are also being supported and different functional programming. Uh, the standard uh, Python bytecode is executed in Python interpreted, inter sorry, interpreter. Uh, which is a similar to Java. Uh, it is a platform independent code. If we uh, talk about the features of Python programming language, so Python have uh, multiple features like it's uh, readable, easy to learn, free, open source, exception handling, large standard library, management, uh, and the cross platform. So these are the major features. So let's have a discuss one by one. Readable means Python is a very readable language that you can easily go through the code. But if you talk about uh, the easy to learn, uh, because learning Python is easy as this is a very expressive and high level programming language, which means it is easy to understand that language that's easy to learn. Like it's uh, using the print statement that obviously by looking at uh, the print command up you pata chal jata hai ki aapne iske through output message display karna so it's a cross platform uh, python is available and can run on various operating systems such as mac windows linux unix etc it makes it cross platform and a portable language uh, open source is open source programming language that uh, it's a source code uh, for the different programs the built in programs are also available and you can make the changes on them so large standard library available uh, in python that comes with a large standard library that has some handy codes and functions jobless built-in codes and functions are already available and you can use uh, while writing the code in python it's a free to download and use this means that you can download it for free and use it in your applications so it also supports the exception handling if you are a new uh, you can be wonder what is an exception basically it's an event that uh, occur during the program exception and can disrupt the normal flow of a program so python basically supports exception handling which means we can write less or error prone code and test various scenarios that can cause an exception later on if we talk about the advanced features uh, it supports generators and list comprehensions uh, in which we will cover uh, these features later uh, when we go into the details uh, in the upcoming lessons so exception handling, advanced features, and automatic memory management, if you are uh, being going to deep in the programming uh, with Python, then you will be able to learn it more specifically and more clearly. So automatic memory management uh, basically supports automatic memory, uh, which means the memory is cleared and freed automatically. You don't need to bother clearing the memory once the code is run. So it will automatically uh, free up the space for you for the next upcoming programs. So these were the some of the features that we uh, quickly go through with them so now the next question is that what can you do with python so what are the applications you can make with the python so you can uh, develop a website so it's uh, provide the web frame like uh, django and flask are based on python so they help you write server side code which helps you manage databases write backend programming logic mapping urls and etc that you are, can develop a good uh, website by using a python so it's also you can uh, do the machine learning there are the many machine learning applications written in python so it is a way to write a logic so that a machine can learn and solve a particular problem on its own for example uh, products recommendations and websites like amazon flip flipkart uh, ebay etc or it's a machine learning algorithm that recognizes users interest or face recognition and voice recognition in your phone is another example of a machine learning so if we we'll talk about the data analysis 
uh, data analysis and data visualization in form of charts can also be developed by using Python. So you can also uh, write up the script to your programs uh, is auditing small programs to automate simple tasks that are sending automatic responses, emails, etc. So such type of application can also be written in Python programming languages language. Uh, so ga game development, you can develop uh, multiple games using Python. Uh, it's just to have to develop a logic and you can also develop a game in it. You can uh, produce embedded applications uh, or you can develop uh, desktop applications as well like uh, Tinkter or Qt. So now the question is that why Python? Uh, because it's extremely versatile language, you can develop a website, you can use it in data analysis, uh, it also be used in server maintenance, numerical analysis and uh, many more applications. So Syntax is very clear, easy to read and learn. So almost it's a pseudocode type of a programming uh, language in which you can go through the code in a very easy way. So it's a common language. In Intuitive object oriented programming because uh, you can uh, use some of the OOPS concepts here. It's a full of modularity, modularity hierarchical packages, comprehensive standard library for many of the tasks. It uh, has a big community, simply extendable via C or C++, wrapping of a C, C++ libraries. You can use many functions uh, of C and plus plus in it. So it's uh, major focus is a programming speed. It is a very fast and executable. So now these were the some of the features, some of the applications you can develop with the Python. So now the question is that how to install Python, how you can start up with it. So you can install Python on any operating system such as Windows, Mac operating system, Linux, Unix and others. So to install the Python on your operating system to go to this link. You can go to this link. You will see a screen like this. This is a screenshot that uh, this will be appeared after clicking that link. Now you can download the latest version uh, for Mac operating system. It's a 3.6.4 Python or 2.7.14. So wondering which versions to use. So about the difference between the Python 2 and 3. So here. Uh, by clicking at this link, you can check the difference between both of them. install So looking for Python with a different operating system, Windows ke liye agar apne karna hai, Linux ke liye, Mac ke liye, or other ke liye, you can click by this link. So if you want to help <coughs> test development versions of Python, so pre-releases, to aap is link ko click kar sakte Now Python Charm install installation so go to this link by clicking at this link and download the community edition so install the downloaded file for the mac you will double click the dot dmg file and drag by charm to application folder or windows ke liye dot exe ko click karenge and follow the instruction installation steps uh, for the default uh, python charm installation so this is a pictorial representation that how you can download the Python charm for by selecting the different operating system and after that you have to click here so now it's a launching for Mac you will go to the application folder and click on the Python charm icon and alternatively you go you can drag the icon to your dock to open the IDE quickly by clicking on the icon in dock so for the windows if you have followed the default installation process then you can see the python charm icon on your desktop if you don't fin find the icon then you can go to the python charm folder or smith c program files and you will follow up uh, this one this path to open it and click on the physical charm so pythoncharm.exe file to launch the ide so it was all about the today's lesson, which was the lesson number one, a basic introduction of a Python in which we have discussed uh, uh, different Python features and uh, what are the applications you can uh, work with Python or ISCO how you can install on your computer. So it was all about the today's session. Take good care up to the next one. Allah Hafiz.